Hello. Hey, how are you? Hi, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Oh, I'm moving around. Bonsoir. Welcome to October. Welcome to fall. Oh, I know. It happened so fast, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I was coming out of yeah. uh, I was coming out of Loblaws at about six, and you know, walking back. I'm I'm in Cabbage Town, so I'm walking through Allen Gardens, and the wind's going, and you're watching the leaves coming off the tree, and you're like, oh, it's fall. <laughs> I know. I know. I got, I was walking as well, delivering a, a painting. So I just in the neighborhood, and yeah, something hit me in the back of the head. It was this huge leaf, and I'm like, that just seems weird. Fall's attacking me, <laughs> but. Uh, but I actually like anybody, you know, like anybody I love fall in Canada. I mean, it's so beautiful and everything, but um, yeah. And I also, you know, I have to say it, my anxiety drops a little bit because now I know I'm not, when I'm in the studio or working, I know I'm not missing being out in the, in the summer, you know, you know, that thing in the, when you're trying yeah. to create, you're, you're in your studio working, but then you've got to like run out to be outside. Now it's like, okay, <laughs> now we, now we've got, six to seven months inside so we can get stuff well it follows good i find winter is a bit stressful because i have a shared driveway so then my 90 year old neighbor starts to shovel driveway and i'm in the middle of a painting and i'm like ah i'm torn i really need to go out and help them out you know <laughs> <laughs> okay okay so yeah so i was just saying a little bit about uh about your work and about uh you know i, I find that especially the work you've got right now on the art walk in the square it's got that really dreamy tranquil kind of sense to it like the blues and the aquas and um and i'm not sure i'm sure it is intentional but for me it almost feels like the work is a bit not realism it's more of an impression of a place or a sense or an emotion or whatever can you yeah. maybe talk a little bit about that yeah, so, no keep going i'd love you to you can, <laughs> i was gonna say i hope i didn't get it wrong <laughs> represent the work go ahead you know? <laughs> that's all, yeah that's right on that's exactly it you know all of that work is um is very much about. And so you, taken, I think taken, you said you were inspired by travel, which. Yeah, it's taken from all, travel. You know, I, I realized I've been almost around the world in, in different mm. places, you know, and over the years and um, just kind of like those experiences. And I do have to say, you know, I'm an ocean lover, even though I'm, I'm not a hot weather lover, but I love that ocean, that tropical feel, and, and uh, I love the idea of... So I guess you're talking Southern Ocean and not like off the coast of BC where it's cold uh, no. <laughs> and dark blue. Well, yeah, Southern, I mean, my, my work tends a little more tropical, you know, it does have that definitely more like the, the Hawaii and Fiji and Australia and mm -hmm. the South, you know, the Caribbean and, and all that kind of feel to it and uh, kind of trying to extend that uh that sensibility you know that when you go away for that two weeks and that well the the paintings are about kind of you know having that in your home and and being able to kind of continue yeah oh i can totally identify <laughs> yeah exactly yeah we have that totally in common so yeah and, and uh and i was actually i was looking at your new pieces that you've got these monet water lily you know you've got this this you've been inspired by that and i was like oh those are great i really like that horizontal line that's going on there so yeah they've been sort of fun they're time consuming so i have to be in the right frame of mind to do those yeah yeah exactly yeah and then i started a whole bunch of new little ones and for me painting small and i've actually been inspired with the the artist network group because i don't paint a lot of small stuff i usually work two three, four, five feet has always been my history and, and you know, kind of the, the coming from, you know, OCA and experimental art and doing all of that. And like you, you said you'd studied with Patterson, you and I studied with um, Tom Dean and Liz Magor and, the, and, the, and so that was all that kind of, a, you know, paint these giant, you know, paint yeah. a wall. Very experimental and yeah. <laughs> uh, and take so, a chainsaw to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so what I did over the summer was, you know, I have all these small canvases, but I'm just trying to really work up this new body of work where I've, I've been, I've included, um, I started to add air balloons into the. Oh, into, cool. So, so they, so there's that, even that more that sense of, of escapism, you know, by having like the islands with the, the balloons kind of in, you know, traveling about. Oh, those are so fun. Yeah, and kind of giving you that, kind of that extending that dreamy type of, um, you know, moving away from uh, reality, you know, and then playing with the colors and, and you know, adding, adding different tones and, and everything. And so that's what I've been kind of 
getting at over the summer and and it's been really fun um trying to develop these and and uh, i have to admit like i have to paint and repaint the air balloons to get the i'm like no that shape doesn't work or that color doesn't work quite right and, and yeah and then it's very it's very interesting too you know the it's a huge difference or i find i think probably sounds like you do as well painting small versus painting large and you know i think that sometimes it took me a while to realize i can't I can't use the same approach doing a small painting as I do with a large painting. Yeah. Like conceptually, I'm still trying to communicate the same thing. But um, if I try the same approach, there just isn't the space. It's too tight. It gets fussy. And it's hard to keep that looseness as you go small. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then, and then of course, try it with, with big hands, trying to paint these very small. <laughs> so, but it's been fun. I've done up about a half a dozen. I'm just, I've actually just photographed them. I'm loading them up to the, the artists, the art walk in the square, um, either tonight or tomorrow, they'll be up there and then I'll kind of like. Uh, oh, good. Yeah. And that's an important thing too. I mean, all our artists are, as they're selling too, they're uploading new pieces or as they're continuing to finish pieces. Exactly. So it's, uh, it's kind of cool that it's not stagnant. So it's always an ever moving um, art show. Yeah. 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 And I was going to do it last week and I thought, well, you know, I'll wait because um, I, I actually kind of had this little breakthrough last week and it was kind of like, sometimes I feel like I'm always at, you know, a day late and a dollar short. <laughs> and, you know, I want to get these all kind of like there to put them up beforehand. And then it was like, and then over the weekend, they kind of started to come together that I kind of, I was like, okay, these kind of work for me. And I'll, I'll now kind of pop these up. And, uh, and then I thought that's fine because, you know, everybody was doing the outdoor thing. So yeah, uh, now it's the weekend, it's cold. Now it's time to go. Now back. we're indoors. <laughs> yeah. It's time to, you know, look at the work online and, and that kind of thing and, and kind of to peruse through it while you're sitting, be, you know, hopefully right. the place warm. So. And so do you want to talk a bit about your medium and how you work with that? Well, these are um, mostly, I'm mostly oil. And, um, and then uh, these small pieces, I, I, like a, I, I just received a whole bunch of acrylics and I never really worked with it. And I thought, you know, I'm going to play with this because I haven't, not that I don't like them, it's just that I'm used to that kind of that flowing and then working with the paint and leaving it and letting it dry slowly and I can come back day after day with the big ones. And mm -hmm. so when you work with acrylic, it's totally, it's a totally different beast. You've got to, you know, get really right at it. And, and you know, that's why working small was great with, uh, with the acrylic because, you know, to, trying to move into a bigger canvas, you've got to be right there and try to get the, the blends and everything that you want to, to, you know, because I'm trying to kind of give it that feel of, of oil, that look of oil, but with the acrylic. And then, yeah. the, but with well, the it definitely one. has, it definitely has its own, its own look, right? And it just, it's its own personality. Like I, you know, I work in acrylics and I find that uh, when people say, well, why don't you use oil? I'm like, cause inherently I'm just too impatient. Like I've learned to work fast and that's kind of what you need to do for acrylics. But you know, it would be kind of interesting to work with oils where you just have so much more time to look and I'm sure I'd screw it up, but yeah. <laughs> good for you to try acrylics going back. Yeah, no, and then I've been blending them using oil and acrylic uh, on some of them. And so it kind of giving them kind of a, a, a certain depth quality, trying to play that up and, and kind of mm -hmm. you know, playing with the hard edge of the acrylic against the soft blend of some of the oil and that type of thing. So It's interesting how um, I've heard this a number of times, uh, interviewing different artists and stuff, that uh, and maybe because of a combination of spending more time in our studios because we're not out socializing, but also um, having a challenge getting all the normal art materials that we use. Uh, that I'm hearing a lot that people are kind of like, well, I've got these aquarelles and I got these acrylic paints and I got these spray paint things. I've never used them before. So now I'm going to, and now I'm going to try, which has been kind of an interesting creative side effect of, uh, of being isolated. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I bought, like you, I bought some of the round tondos, the, the, the little tin, you know, I was like, oh, great. You know, when, when Amanda posted that, I was like, oh, fantastic. Cause <laughs> those things are so freaking expensive. You know, these, the, these little round pieces. And I was like, I know, oh. but they're so fun to do. They're so yeah. different. Like the cold composition is completely different with a round one. Right. Like, it, yeah. and it's uh, even hanging it, especially with a minor abstract. Right. So there's not necessarily an obvious up uh, yeah. with a round. <laughs> I know because I was looking at it going, okay, I got to make sure I hang this properly because you, you don't want that horizon being kind of slightly off. You want to make sure yeah. you get it right. Yeah, yours are more challenging that way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, and so now I'm kind of ready to kind of um, in this launch into, um, you know, uh, the, some of them, I'm kind of working up some little bit bigger ones to two, two, three, four feet, that type of thing. 
So that's where I'll go with it and start adding. For the tondos or for the, with acrylic? With the, uh, no, with the, the whole premise of the air balloons. So, cause oh, I've done mostly cool. the little one. Yeah. And so the tondos, I just have the, the little 10 inch ones, but I do want to order some more of those. But the other sh stuff that's in the, in the studio, I've kind of got all the grounds, you know, set up and, and that's what I was doing over the summer. Now I'm ready to kind of take them to the finish and add the, add the air balloons. And I used mm -hmm. to, I used to uh, do a series with uh, blimps um, and, and it was just images of the sky with the clouds and the blimps and the blimps had all. Oh, neat. Yeah. And uh, I did that a long time ago. So I'm kind of, you know, drawing from that and bringing that into this and and so it's kind of fun to go back to your history and mm -hmm. say yeah you know like you're kind of revisiting and reinventing it and adding it to it so that's where i'm kind of going with the whole thing. and so i think i was reading a lot of your inspiration comes from travel and you said you've traveled pretty much around the world and assuming you're not doing too much traveling right now <laughs> so um, no. do you have I mean, enough in your brain that you're going to be able to store and use for the next year or yeah. Yeah, and, and oh yeah, lots and, and you know, lots of, of, of memories, you know, of, of that time. I mean, it's it's really a fantastic, like from your 20s and 30s where I did, you know, you were a little bit freer and, and kind of did that thing. I didn't have such a bad back, you know, and so travel was easy and, mm -hmm. uh, and you could travel cheap and, and that kind of thing. And, and like the air balloons kind of came, you know, I was thinking back, um, of course, what these were post pre-Instagram days or pre cell phone days when when I was in Australia and I was up diving on the Great Barrier Reef and we were coming back in from the reef and there was a bit of a, a air balloon festival and so the oh, couple cool. of days so that was two days and and uh we're coming back in and you're seeing like you know about a dozen or 20 of these things kind of as you're coming back from the ocean so it's just so it really was like a dreamland you're kind of like it's kind of this you're, you're coming back from diving, you're all kind of zoned out, and, and then you're like seeing these air balloons, and you're kind of like, what <laughs> is going on, you know? <laughs> yeah, they're, they're kind of magical, aren't they? We, uh, I went, the fir my first and only air balloon ride in uh, Cappadocia in Turkey, over, um, over the, the crazy formations that are in, in Cappadocia, and it was, uh, you know, you have to get up super early so you get the sunrise, and it's just, it's such, a, it's such an interesting experience, like to just sort of just be kind of floating there, and I don't know, it was, really is quite magical. Yeah, yeah, it's great. And you do those, you know, and you do those things on those trips that you wouldn't do normally. You know, you're kind yeah, of yeah. Getting up at 4.30 in the morning and you're driving from... Yeah, there's not a lot of, that'll get me up at 4.30 in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> so, but you've got to get on the boat to go for the dive, the day's dive. And, and you're driving along the coast of, from the rainforest to Cannes. And yeah. the sun's coming up and you're like, oh, you know. <laughs> I should do this every day because it's so yeah. worth it. <laughs> yeah. And then I never do again. <laughs> exactly. exactly. We, we need to do a reality show that like the Kardashians are going. So we need a new reality show. Maybe we should do that. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The real reality. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that could be scary. I don't know. I'm not sure that's a good idea. <laughs> uh, anyway, but, but yeah, okay. So, so do you want to let, uh, let everybody know what your hashtag is and how to find you? And besides uh, the Art Walk Square show, yeah, it's um, it's uh, at David TM um, is my Instagram handle, and um, also my website is uh, davidmoralart.com, and um, and that's all on the Art Square, uh, Art and Square website as well. If, for, if people go there and look at my page, they can find that, that'll link to all of that, and um, and Facebook is David Moral, and I do a lot more on Instagram, I think, than than on Facebook right at the moment, but I'm trying to build up my Facebook, get back to it and everything. Trying mm -hmm. to keep up with social media. I know um, every time you turn around, there's like a new thing you should be doing. Uh, <laughs> no. yeah, I mean, I get a bit of anxiety, you know, just trying to keep up with all, where you should be posting things and, and all that kind of stuff. It's just, you know. But it is a great opportunity, I think, especially um, as you're doing smaller pieces and stuff, to be able to really take close ups and get intimate and allow people to really see them better, which is kind of a great thing to yes. be able to do now yeah exactly and then i'm developing these into prints i want to do, do um, oh nice yeah which i think is really fun because i'm not because i work full time so i'm not a, uh, able to paint full time i'm not as prolific and i'm kind of trying to think like how can i get the work out there a little bit more 
And, and then at the past couple of shows I've done, people have loved the work and they're like, do you, they've asked, do you do prints? And I'm kind of like, yeah. And I love this idea like the, 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 with the small pieces, like doing up the small ones where people would buy, might want to buy a cluster, you know, or buy, buy three or uh -huh. four of them and put them together. So, and just, I think from watching people on Zoom and seeing all these homes with empty walls, you know, and, and you're kind of like, you know, and not everybody can afford, you know, the, the original, yeah. you know, the, it's expensive if they all want to buy originals. So it, it's something that I'm kind of trying to launch into. So it's I've been that kind of stern, you know, only the original painting. And now I'm trying to loosen up and get with that. Kind well, of I think there's, it's a different market for different people, right? I mean, some, some people would love to have all original art, but the budget just doesn't allow for it. And so it's nice for them still to be able to enjoy your work and, you know, and then maybe at some point they'll buy an original or maybe that's just, that's kind of what feeds their soul. And that's pretty amazing too, that we're able to do that for people. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much. I encourage everybody to go and check out David's um, store on Art Walk in the Square. Uh, certainly, especially if you're having a stressful day, just take a look at the paintings. You'll just feel that stress level just go down. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining us, David, and have a great evening. Okay, you too. Bye. Thanks.